Now that the geometry for the stent and the balloon are in place, we'll start to edit the model. So we can double click on model to open up mechanical. Because this is a pretty complex contact problem, we have to make sure that our mesh is good enough to capture all of the interesting physics that are going to go on. So a few things to consider are that we have to have a nice square regular mesh on the balloon. We need to have a couple elements in each direction inside the stent. And on the symmetry faces, we have to have a couple elements of thickness between the symmetry plane and the inside of the stent. To get this, under mesh, we'll right click, insert, a sizing, and the first geometry, we'll go to the body select, and select the stent. And then from here, we'll use element size, and make sure you're in millimeters and then element size will be 0.04 millimeters similarly we'll insert a sizing for the balloon body and that can be a little bit bigger so we'll make it 0.05 millimeters And then the last thing we'll do is we'll make sure that we have a nice square mapped face meshing onto the balloon face. So insert face meshing. And then we'll select the balloon and hit apply. And then we can generate the mesh. So you see we have a nice square mesh on the balloon face. And then we have a nice mesh on the stent where we have three elements in either direction and we have two elements on the thin parts also. So this will be a good starting mesh for us.